everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Trina and welcome back to my channel. Today, it finally arrived. So this is my premium unboxing for BoxyCharm for January. I know we're starting to get flooded on YouTube with the premium unboxings, but this just came to me yesterday. I told you, sometimes it takes a while to get to me. Usually not this long though, right? So this I only got yesterday, which was February 2nd. I'm filming obviously today, February 3rd. But it's finally here. It wasn't worth the wait. It was worth the wait. This is a really good box. We've got high value. We've got some good items. And for those of you who like makeup, this is a very makeup heavy box. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. If you enjoy BoxyCharm unboxings, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's see what I got in my particular variation. So the premium theme is the same as what we had in the base box. So this was the So Clean, So Fresh. Uh, again, nice little purple, favorite color, do very enjoy it. All the information is on the back about the items that I did receive. And of course, because I do pay for my box, I did pick out my two items. So let's start with the comparison. And oh, I'm so sad that these went head to head because I would have happily chosen both. You'll see a rant coming in next month's BoxyCharm about some of the choice items that were available. And it's like, really? That's your choice comparison? That's next month. Stay tuned. Um, but this month, you had either the option of the Volition Beauty, the Strawberry Sea Brightening Serum, or you had the LYS, and that was their Think Bright Glow Hydrate Serum with Vitamin C and Hyaluronic Acid. So either way, you were picking up Vitamin C Serum. And I would have happily picked either of these, but I did end up choosing the Volition because Strawberry love strawberry. I really want to try the strawberry serum for glow recipe as well. And it had the higher price tag. So that's why I picked that item. And the box looks like this. Nice and blinding for you. Now you can't see it. So vitamin C serum and the product looks like this. You do have one fluid ounce in there. I'm excited. I am yeah, very excited about this. Uh, retail value on this is $42 USD. So again, we're kicking off the box really well with our value here. So the second choice we had, um, option number one was a foundation from the brand Hyde. Um, and personally for myself, I've still got a lot of foundations I've picked from previous months that I haven't even gotten to yet. And so because the brand was just kind of eh for me personally, I went with the Ofra. So that was of course their Ofra on the Glow Pro Palette, which hefty price tag. Now I know this has been an item that has been featured in Lux boxes before. It's come with other people's variations for a lot of people. This was simply another repeat. Not necessarily a repeat they got, but an item that they are seeing repeatedly. I haven't received it yet, so obviously that's part of the reason why I picked it. And guys, it is so much prettier in person. So Ofra, this is much nicer packaging. So let's take a look on the inside. I may have been gushing over this a lot last night. Okay, so leaving all the plastic on for the moment. The Blissful Highlighter, the Egyptian Clay Bronzer, the Americano Bronzer, the Caribbean Dream Triangle, the Beverly Hills Highlight, and of course the Highlight in Rodeo Drive. So now let's take that off so you can see properly what this looks like. Did I spend a ridiculously long time last night kind of gushing over these? Yes, I did. Like these pans are huge and they're gorgeous and they're pretty and I just want to bathe in this palette at this moment, but I won't because it's very dead of winter and these are very, again, shimmery, sparkly, bronzy, um, in terms of their bronzer and their highlighters here. I'm very excited to play around with this. And the retail value is $149. This may be the most expensive item I've ever received in a boxy charm. So I've definitely received things around this, right? So sometimes the Avant skincare, some of those come up. Again, those have super high price tags. But definitely in terms of a cosmetic item, I think this is going to be the most expensive one I have received thus far. 
and I'm thrilled. I'm excited. I'm just, oh, I'm ready to play with this. But it's probably going to be a little bit more for in the summer. But that was my second choice item. So between my two choice items, we got to, you know, 200 bucks, just about. So what BoxyCharm sent me, because already they obviously sent me very high value, more value than I usually get in the box, but we still have four items to discuss. So first up, um, box is a little bit damaged because they didn't have a hard time opening this, um, but this is the Salute to the Sun Mascara. This is from Oma Beauty. There we go. Looks like this. So we've got this nice gold blue packaging, not like super heavy or anything, but still seems like a fair amount of product here. Uh, this is in the shade Chem, and yeah, it's a mascara. Do I get a million mascaras in BoxyCharm? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I have in backup, how many mascaras do I have? Obviously, I don't open them till I'm ready for them, but if I open a new mascara every month, I'm sure I still have a few left over. That's how many mascaras I've gone, mainly from BoxyCharm, so that tells you how often I get them. And this one in particular has a retail value of $19.50. To go with said mascara, let's put an eyeliner with it. Uh, this is from Item Beauty. So from Item Beauty, this is their Lucky Line Long Wearing Waterproof Gel Eyeliner Pencil. Retail for $14. And it's just a wooden eyeliner pencil. Because it's a gel, that's a little bit more appealing. And it is in brown. Could it come in brown or black? I'm kind of excited that it came in brown. Um, it's definitely a dark brown, but might be worth trying out we'll kind of see um generally this isn't my favorite kind of eyeliner but we'll decide if i want to give this away to someone or if i'm gonna try it out myself um, i've gone a few things from item beauty mainly mascaras i think i have do i have two mascaras from them in back stock i might but this is an eyeliner i haven't tried one of those before and Again, another very common item, the eyeliner. I also got in this box another Ofra product. So this is the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Canyon. And you know, it looks a little brownie kind of color. That should be okay. Again, probably not gonna open it for a little while because I have so many of the products. Um, something very lightweight feeling about this. So like, it still feels like a quality item. And it'll be my first experience, I believe, with an Ofra lip product. So I am excited about that. I hear a lot of good things about this. So yeah, that's item number five. And the last item I received, I'm actually quite excited about this. This is the Dominique Cosmetics, the Unconditional Palette. It has a retail value of $28. And guys, guys, it is so pretty. It is so wearable. So it looks like this, and on the inside, oh, there we go. Okay, so first initial thoughts about this palette. A very wearable palette. So for my needs at least, what I like that we have like two what would be normally kind of crease colors for me. We got a bit more of a highlighting color, something to deepen up the crease. And then depending on what you want to put on the lid, we've got this kind of shimmery, sparkly color here, and then this chunky chunky glitter um so it'll be interesting to see how that one performs but very wearable um at least for me because uh, i'm not super creative it may be more of a kind of one general look type of palette right one of these in the crease inner corner deepen it up on the lid but it is pretty did i gush over this one as well for quite a while yesterday yes I do enjoy the Dominique Cosmetic Palace. This is the only small size one I have received before. Um, I've actually received her lip liner before in BoxyCharm, which I did use up, and that was fine. I'm not big on lip liners personally, but it was nice and creamy. I've gone now uh, three palettes. I've got the Transitions palette, which very matte, neutral, very wearable, very uh, multi-use as well. Um, the Moment palette, which was November's premium box, and oh! Stunning, gorgeous, love it. 
And now we've got this one. So again, also more on the wearable side, still some pops of some fun. I'm very excited for it. So that is going to wrap up what I received in my BoxyCharm Premium for January of this year. And when we're looking at all of these items together, right, I do have... Uh, one skincare item here, but otherwise I can pretty much do close to a full face. Your eye look, you've got pretty much everything. You've got the eyeshadow, you've got the eyeliner and the mascara. With the palette here, you've got bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and you've got a lip product to kind of pull everything together. So in terms of the curation of the box, I am very pleased with it. If I look at each item individually, I mean, again, it's another mascara, it's another eyeliner. But you know what? For the value of this box, like, this is a really good box. My total value came to $272.50. Yeah, yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. I, I'm so excited. This is a very good box, as I said. And that's basically all I have to say. So thank you so much for joining me for my unboxing. We'll be adding that eyeshadow palette to my list. So if you do enjoy those eyeshadow kind of project pans, I do an eyeshadow usage project where I have a random number generator to pull in. So if you enjoy that, the Ofra may eventually make it into my lip surface project pan, that serum eventually into my skincare project pan. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy BoxyCharm unboxings. And of course, make sure you subscribe so that you are able to see my February base and premium unboxings when eventually those boxes make it into me. So very excited, very thrilled. And of course, remember, if you subscribe to BoxyCharm, that choice date is coming up very quickly here on Monday. So don't miss out on it because we look like we should have some good choices coming up. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you guys in my next video very soon.